Hi Philippa, this is Maggie and I'm going to review your website. So I'm on homepage and I can see that you have got plenty of selection of different uh, different uh, different items which is excellent. I'm not sure if you noticed that in your header area you've got in a corner you've got displayed code of numbers. So it would be great to look into that. It's probably near not wrapped in a header section but it's within body section so make sure that if it's a code that you need definitely put it before the body section starts of your website otherwise it's being displayed on the page so we've got social media here I can see that they are being open in new tabs which is fantastic uh, you've got extra um, extra links here I'm not sure why your top menu has got so many items. Basically, for a brand new visitor and for somebody who even wants to browse your website, it it just appears like a challenge. They have to go through to find what they want. You definitely need to simplify your menu if you want to show all of those uh, all of those items or all of those collections definitely go for the drop down menu and let's say have handbags and um, and below different types of handbags have clothing or ladies clothing and uh, below different types of clothing such as jackets such as leggings and so on then have accessories and then below as a drop down items have jewelry uh, hats and so on then another item you can have uh, you can have a uh, lingerie another item you can have do you can have iPhone cases and so on but at the moment it uh, it definitely works against you because it creates confusion and it's just not something that people are used to and also this menu takes quite a lot of space uh, in the above section which means that people basically see just the menu on uh, each and every single page they load and the rest of the page is being pushed down so simplifying the menu and pulling the and lifting the uh, the website content up the page definitely can help you improve your conversion rate um also your url is flip handbags but um, but the logo area says Philippa and Puget so definitely work on staying consistent with your brand name because it builds trust so either rename I rename Philippa and Puget to flip 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 and handbags in here or connect different domain names such as Philippa and Puget <clears throat> okay so this is Hello, twenty-five percent off Lola Toti, but you don't give, you don't give um, instructions how to use this code. I understand this is the code fib, but it would be great to have like a text click below to copy into the clipboard and then paste it in the checkout. Otherwise, it just looks confusing. Uh, and it takes a lot of space. The sliding images they change very rapidly they don't give enough time for people to actually to actually familiarize themselves with each new image and they're just too busy and they're not optimized ideally you want obvious and they're also like cropped in weird places so some of the images are cropped by the by the image border like this uh, uh like those phone covers or the handbags um um, also make sure to have at least seven I mean at least seven second transition time between each images and then add also a I hope yeah it opens on the home page add also a short tagline and call to action to each image to Tell in few words about what each image represents, for example, shop, custom backpacks or shop, shop printed dresses and so on, and then add call to action to each image, such as shop now. Also make sure that 
each image is linked to a re relevant collection because the, at the moment it is um, it is linked to the home page so when someone clicks it they can go straight away and browse this particular collection it will help you improve your user experience and uh, conversion rate the items look actually very very interesting perhaps the product uh, titles could be a little bit more specific such as tea ammo uh, i think it's like canvas canvas bag or something like that basically something that people will be um will be searching for because tea ammo if someone will be looking using tea ammo in you know searching in google they won't be necessarily searching for handbags so make sure that uh, with the right titles, you are being featured in the right search results as well. Okay, so we've got new products here. So we've got really nice. They look really nice. We've got sign up tab, which is awesome. And you've got additional navigation in the photo, which is great. Again, there's plenty of, there's plenty of, um, you can see that it's big commerce. That's plenty of elements. Would be great to to really simplify it. The font is a little bit on a small side and very very uh, very very pale gray against well white background, which um, is not very user friendly. Ideally, you would want it to create um, you know black text on the white background to have. Uh, to have bigger contrast font a little bit bigger because it's very important for SEO for Google and for SEO to make all elements on your website uh, uh, basically accessible to everyone even for those who are slightly visually impaired if you don't do it definitely you can your website can be marked down by Google uh, okay, let's le review the collections and product pages and then extra content. As you can see, because your menu is so extensively built, all I see in as I click on each collection page is just uh, it's just a menu and and obviously the header area. Also, the drop down menu. I'm not sure if you can see it on your screen. It is um, the font is being cut off. The bottom border of the font has been cut off, which gives a little bit of sloppy impression. So make sure to to work on that. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely need, need improvement. It's probably a part of your template, or if you've got custom template, uh, make sure that it's coded. Okay. So the. Um, mm, the collection layout is quite nice. We've got four items in a row. Uh, images are the same dimensions, which is great, which means that the product titles are in line. Quick view. Okay, it's quite nice. Quite nice. Uh, quite nice page. Keep dropping options available, but you don't give. Um, uh, gift wrapping you don't give an option right now to choose it and this is not something that immediately improves your conversion rate so move it below add to cart uh, because it doesn't have to have the immediate attention at the top of the page ideally you would want to show this first and then any other content just like right review gift wrapping options available which should give like option right now so drop down drop down menu option so those those two elements can go below add to cart add to wish list uh, add to wish list element okay quite a nice um, quite a nice product description I like that you you include information that is designed by you so that's fantastic it's very nice okay so the product page collection page look great I'm going to check other 
other pages such as contact us, I'm going to open them in new tabs inside. Shipping returns about and the blog. So let's have a look. Contact us page. Okay, it looks good. Inside. That's, that's good. I mean, it would be great to add even more content to really introduce people to your world and then add images of you, your team, your warehouse, your design studio and so on. So it creates kind of report. The report um, definitely it translates into conversion rate because when people will feel that they, are, that they know you a little bit better, they know the process, they definitely will be inclined to buy more. Uh, from your store. Okay, shipping returns gifts. Okay, um, the shipping is a little bit on the like shipping information on the small side. Def definitely add like shipping rates table whether you ship to USA or or internationally. Uh, what kind of couriers do you use and definitely add more um, more elements uh, about the, about the shipping process the returns policy is uh, is actually very good but yeah definitely add more info on about the shipping policy as well so we've got about a section so we've got photo here which is fantastic Okay, so this is something that you um, that you explain why the difference between uh, what's the connection between those two names. Without knowing that, it just they, they they just appear like two separate brand names. So either stay consistent with you know with your shop name and with your domain name, which would be best. And then you can you can explain the, the connection or the alternative name on about us on about us page, handbag designer. Um, because you want to uh, you want to promote or sort of market yourself as a handbag designer, I would definitely focus on handbags only, and then. And then other other elements like clothing. Maybe, maybe remove clothing for now. Maybe remove uh, swimsuits or or iPhone cases, because at the moment I hope you don't mind. At the moment, the store, especially the homepage, looks just like another dropshipping dropshipping store. It just doesn't doesn't reflect the information you would like to convey, the unique information about yourself as a handbag designer. Uh, so definitely work on that uh, to create, to build the branding as a handbag designer if you want to go that way. Um, otherwise, it yeah, it definitely is, um, is a little bit inconsistent, the information. It's not clear that these are custom designed handbags or these are handbags designed by you. Or that, that you focus only on handbags um, as well. Okay, so a uh, blog here. Okay, it would be great to blog regularly. It's uh, I can see that you've been open for a few years, which is fantastic. A uh, blog is really good for SEO. So yeah, definitely, definitely uh, make sure to blog regularly. Also, um, also make sure to optimize each handbag, uh, sorry, each blog post for SEO. So uh, add internal links, obviously the H tags uh, for the each header tag element, internal external links, uh, the paragraph breaks are here, but yeah, definitely, definitely make, make sure that it's more SEO friendly. When it comes to the SEO, I managed to run a quick uh, quick analysis. So 58 out of 100 
it um, it is not critical but obviously it's room for improvement you seem to have two domain names connected to your website which means that without a proper 301 redirect Google reads it as two separate websites with a duplicate content which uh, can definitely affect your overall um, SEO score so make sure to add uh, 301 re re redirect it's very easy to set it up it takes a few seconds but it definitely makes a difference for your SEO the meta title meta description is actually great which is fantastic the hashtags, this is not, not a big thing, but definitely keep in mind to use them in the right order. So H1, obviously the page title, then H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, and so on. Um, content analysis of the page. I noticed that um, you use plenty of brand names, which is fantastic. Someone would be searching for your brand name, but also make sure to use your target keywords um, in bigger con in bigger like quantity on the pages. So, for example, if you want to target um, handmade tote bags or designer tote bags, definitely make sure to use them as so your content ranks for these words. So you've got title tag, method description tag, so these are those Google, Google snippets, hashtags, tags, keyword consistency, as I mentioned, make sure to rank for your target keywords. You've got plenty of backlinks, which is fantastic, which is great as you have been open for a few years, so this is great. Your URLs aren't SEO friendly yet. Um, obviously, I don't encourage you to change URLs of the old pages as you have been, as you are established store. But with the new, each new product you create, each new page you are definitely aim to have uh, friendly URLs. And by friendly URLs, I mean shorter URLs, a maximum two or three words as an extension. And then I uh, use your target keywords when possible or use at least specific or um, descriptive keywords to describe each page. Yeah, this, those top-up boxes, as you can see, they load almost immediately. They cover the screen on the mobile, which is a huge thing for Google right now and for user experience. They Obviously, users cannot see the screen. And because user experience is quite a big element for Google when ranking websites, it can definitely affect your SEO rank. So keep the uh, keep the pop-ups to the minimum, especially on mobile. Maybe don't display them on mobile apart from the sign-up tab that people can click, but don't load them on mobile automatically as people enter, as people load the pages. Um, Actually, I can see that the menu isn't displayed on mobile, but the code is still displayed. Menu isn't displayed. Menu is hidden on mobile, which is fantastic. So this is the menu. So maybe you should you should do the same thing. But yeah, definitely simplify. Do the same thing on desktop, but def definitely simplify the menu elements. Okay. Otherwise, it's not. It's really not bad. Maybe the images need uh, need optimization. So, for example, like the alt tags and so on. Broken links. You don't have many broken links for a uh, for a website that is uh, that is have been have been established for a number of years, and these are not you know not huge not huge problems. This tool basically picks up some kind of random um, broken links that aren't really that aren't really broken in majority of cases. So. Uh, I don't think there's anything major that you need to worry about at this stage. The website is is like uh, maybe I wouldn't say it's super fast, but it definitely it's not in critical situation. It loads uh, a little bit over two seconds, uh, which is uh, which is still below three seconds, uh, which is recommended. Uh, website loading speed. I don't think it can be classified as a slow website, but if you would like to work on improving your speed, it definitely is, um, is possible to improve your speed. There are still elements that uh, need improvement. So if 
if it's something that is important for you, um, there's definitely area to yeah to work on. So I hope you found this um, this video review useful. If you did, uh, there's a link in our in the email that I sent you to um, to leave us a five star review on Trustpilot. I will I will absolutely appreciate if you took your time and leave and leave a positive positive review and it was a pleasure doing review for your website thank you so much for your time bye bye